Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a makeup tutorial. This is the look that I will be recreating today and this video is extra special because I just scratched my face. Extra special because it's actually a collaboration with a YouTube friend. Her name is Alma Lopez. She's going to be doing her version of a spring tutorial. She has really good quality content on her channel so don't forget to check her out. Go subscribe to her channel. You guys are going to love her channel and tell her that I sent you and if you guys are coming over from her channel welcome to my channel I hope you subscribe and I hope you stay also if you guys want to learn how to get this makeup look then just keep on watching so I'm first taking the hard candy sheer envy pore defense primer serum this is supposed to smooth pores away it's oil free silicone and alcohol free I actually really like it and it just really like smooths out my skin and any texture that I may have now I'm going to take the Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundation. You guys know how I feel about this foundation. I absolutely love it. My color is 405. And am I the only one that can smell like a gushy smell with this foundation? Ever since I've smelled it, like I can't get that lingering fishy smell out of my head. Like it's, it's bugging me now. But nonetheless, I still love it. I just feel like it's... The perfect color for my skin so I am going to take a damp beauty blender and I'm just going to pounce that all over my face to make sure that I get a nice and even application after that I'm taking the NARS creamy concealer the color that I use is ginger and I'm applying that all over um, underneath my eyes just to cover up any dark circles Now the only reason why I do one eye at a time is because I do notice that with this NARS concealer, it sets and it dries almost very quickly. So I like to do one eye at a time because then one will set. Um, after that I am going to take a little bit to my chin to the middle of my nose and then to the center of my forehead and again just blending everything out. Before I go in with powder, I'm going to make sure that there is no creasing. I am going to take the NYC Loose Setting Powder and Translucent and I'm just going to set underneath my eyes. I'm not doing any baking today, I just I really wasn't in the mood for baking I guess, so I'm just going to take that underneath the eyes. Now after that I'm moving on to the bronzer and this is the e.l.f. bronzing palette. Oh my god, this palette is amazeballs. I've been loving it so much. It is so pretty. It is so nice. It is super blendable, super powdery. Not, actually not powdery. It's really creamy. I mean it's a powder but it's not powdery. What I meant. It's really nice. I really liked it. Um, I actually picked it up at my local Walmart not too long ago. I have not put this down, guys. It's been my go-to bronzer. I really like it. And as you can see, like a little bit really does go a long way. You have four shades to choose from. There's some warm tones, and there's one that has more of a cool tone. Totally worth it. It's only six dollars. Get it at your local Walmart. And then you know I always gotta hit that double chin. I swear this makes a difference. I mean, I swear I do have a double chin. You guys may not see it, but I can definitely see it. So I always like to contour my jawline um, just because it defines it a little bit better. And again, it just hides that double chin. Now I'm gonna go in with this blush and I was just deciding if it looks good. These are so pigmented. This is the Seti Color B Matte Blush in the color Papaya. It is one of my favorite blushes, hands down. It is so pretty and it just goes with everything. And then I'm gonna take this um, stippling brush by Beauty Junkies and I'm going to blend everything out. I've been loving this brush so much. Now for the eyes, I'm going to take the Smashbox 24 hour um, photo finish primer and then I'm going to take a little bit of the NYX eyeshadow base in white and I'm going to apply just a tiny bit and I'm going to dab that all over the lids. Make sure that you don't go above the crease. So 
I'm going to make sure that I dab that until it's pretty much blended. Then I'm going to move on to the Morphe 35B palette. So this has tons of bright colors. And I'm going to take this, it's like a dark fuchsia, like a dark magenta pink. And I'm going to apply that all over the lid. I am going to pack it on. Just keep packing it on until you get the intensity that you want. You always want to go back after you blend and reapply the color in case you lost any. Here I'm not taking any specific color on the brush. I'm just using whatever I have on my lids and I'm working it up so I can blend everything. Now I'm going to go into like this, like a pink purple um, neon color and I'm going to use that as a transitional color. Um, it just seemed easier for me to apply the lid and then the crease color afterwards because sometimes I tend to go above my crease and then it just looks a little messy. So this is the new technique or the new method that I've been using for my eyelids and it's been working really nice because it just allows me again to keep that crease color right at the crease and I don't go up any higher. So I just blend, go back and apply color, blend, go back and apply some more color. Now I'm going to go back into the NYX eyeshadow base again in whites and I'm going to apply a bright yellow eyeshadow. This is a matte eyeshadow and it's so pretty and it's so pigmented. Remember that any time that you apply a white base underneath, it's just going to make everything pop. Any color that you apply is just going to pop immediately. And I'm going to apply my winged liner. I'm using the NYC Black Eyeliner. You guys know how I feel about this. I love it so, so much. I definitely need a new one. Um, my eyeliner was not cooperating with me today. It was just a hot mess. So my, it was just not, it's one of those days. So after that, I'm taking the Coco Lashes in the Style Goddess and I'm applying that to, you know, as close to the lash line as possible. While I let that dry, I am going to work on the lower lash line and I'm doing the same exact, exact steps. <laughs> I'm taking that magenta color and I'm applying it to the lower lash line and then just blending everything out. And then to finish off the face, I'm going to highlight using the Makeup Forever Sculpt Duo in number two and I'm packing it on. You guys know that I pack on my highlights. So I'm just applying the highlight to the heights, um, tops of my cheekbones and making sure that I blend it as I go. I'm also going to apply that to the tip of my nose and my cupid as well. Now to finish off the look, I'm taking this NYX lingerie liquid lipstick and ruffle trim and that pretty much completes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed. So this is the final look, totally spring appropriate and super fun and bright and colorful. Um, if you guys do like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also as always leave me a comment on what videos you guys would like to see next. And also don't forget to check Alma Lopez's um, video in the collaboration that we did today so you guys can see her recreation of a spring tutorial and don't forget to subscribe. That is everything for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And again, thank you so much for all the birthday wishes, you guys. I love you guys with all my heart. So thank you for making my birthday even more amazing. I love you guys. And until next time, I will see you guys soon. Bye.